Hey everyone, it's Matt here from acegameset.com. Today we're going to go through question one of unit one for the Ace Gamesat mock exam. Okay, so question one. So basically we have a set of indicators and we have a, a KA which we can use to find the PKA at which a color change occurs. Okay, so what are the colors of bromophenol blue and phenol red when placed separately in aqueous solution of 0 0.005 Hey everyone, it's Maddie from Ace Camps. Hey everyone, it's Matt here from acegameset.com. Today we're going to go through Unit 1, Question 1 of the Ace Gameset Mock Exam. Okay, so looking at Unit 1, we're given a chart with indicators, KA, and the colors of the respective indicators in their acidic and their basic forms. Under that, we're given a series of equations. When you see equations like this in the Gameset, they're it's most likely guaranteed that they're going to be used in the questions. Okay, so question one. What are the colors of bromophenol blue and phenol red when placed separately in aqueous solution of 0 0.0005 moles of sulfuric acid? Assume sulfuric acid completely dissociates. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is find the concentration of hydrogen ions. Okay, so we've got H2SO4, which equals, we have 0 0.0005 molar. Okay, so we know that when sulfuric acid dissociates, it forms 2H plus plus SO4 to minus. So therefore, if we want to find the hydrogen ion concentration, we just it's going to be double the concentration of sulfuric acid. So 0 0.0005 times 2, which equals 0 0.001 molar H+. Okay, so we've got the concentration of hydrogen ions now. Okay, so now let's find the pH. So we know that pH equals minus log 10 hydrogen ion concentration. So minus log 10 hydrogen ion concentration. So we want to put this into a, a more simple form that can be used when manipulating log. So this is the same as 10 to the power of minus 3. So this can be 10 to the minus 3. Okay, so using log laws, which we cover in our Ace Gamset series, we can see that this minus 3, when these two numbers are the same, this minus 3 can come down here. So this becomes minus 3 times minus log 10. 10, okay? And another log law is if this number is the same as this number, it equals 1. So minus 3 times minus 1 is 3 in brackets 1. So for example, we'll look at the log x, x equals 1. That's a log law right here. Okay, so pH equals 3. Alright, so now, now let's look at each indicator. Okay, so Let's look at bromophenol blue. Alright, so the Ka for bromophenol blue is looking at the table 1.26 times 10 to the minus 4. And now let's find its pKa, which equals pKa equals minus log Ka. So log 10. So it's 
When you see minus log, you can usually assume it's log 10, but I'll just put log 10 there for now. Okay, so this equals minus log Ka, okay, so 1.26 times 10 minus 4. So another log law is we can break this up into two different logs. So minus, so log 1.26, and because these are multiplied, that means the two logs are added together. So log 1.26 plus log 10 to the minus 4. Okay, so looking at the notes, on the left side, we can see that log 10, 1.26 equals 0 0.1. So we've got 0 0.1 plus. Okay, so this mon, this is a 10 here. Remember that. It's just more convenient just to ignore it and just write log 10. So this minus 4 will come to the front. So plus minus 4. Then this is going to be log. 10, 10, which as we've seen above is 1. So minus 0 0.1 minus 4, which equals minus 0 0.1 plus 4, which equals 3.9. Okay, so the pKa is 3.9. So the pKa is the pH at which that color change will occur. So, so we can see here that the pH is 3, so a color change will occur at a pH of 9. So therefore the pH isn't high enough for a color change to occur, so therefore no change in color will occur. So if the pH up here was 4, then a change would occur at 3.9. So no change occurs, so it stays yellow as we can see over here. Okay, so that's done for bromophenol blue. So now look, let's look at phenol red. So the Ka, so phenol red. The Ka of phenol red is looking at the table 1.26 times 10 to the negative 8. Okay, so once again, pKa equals minus log. Ka, which equals minus log 1.26 times 10 to the minus 8. Okay, so we use a log law to break this up again. So minus log 1.26 plus log 10 minus 8 so now we get minus so log 1.26 is 0 0.1 looking at the nodes on the left side minus 8 in brackets 1 so that's 8 so minus 0 0.1 plus 8 which equals 7.9 okay so pKa is 7.9 so a color change will occur at pH 7.9 but pH equals 3 as we calculated at the start so no color change so the pH is 3 but the pH changes but the color changes at a pH of 7.9 so no color change occurs and once again it's going to be yellow. So both indicators are yellow. So yellow and yellow. So the solution is A. Thank you. If you would like your own copy of the ASCAMSAT free mock exam, click the link in the description of the video below.